I think everyone comes to a website basically daily where something is not working. Now with e-commerce, that's a crucial thing. Um, if something is not working, the trust factor just vanishes. Um, you will not buy from a website that is broken and trust them with your credit card. Now, a lot of businesses out there, they are more reactive than proactive when it comes to fixing errors. Um, so panic comes up and I've spoken to many, many e-commerce entrepreneurs and everyone has a story to share that when something broke and what a kind of impact that you had. And you just said it has a relatively high impact on your revenue. Now, let's dive into what actually is the worst case scenario. How can I deal with that? Yeah, I think the most common story uh, for most e-commerce businesses is they don't hear about errors every single day in most cases, but when they do, it's often a customer that will say, oh, I had trouble checking out or it's an executive that actually finds an issue and then everyone scrambles to try and reproduce the issue. And then it's, oh, it works on my computer. How come it doesn't work on yours? And it's really kind of really challenging to coordinate what the actual issue is and understand the impact. Uh, so often what will happen is there's these like micro, what I like to call micro downages. And what I mean by that is, oh, this region of the US on Firefox iPhone, these seven products don't work when you try and add them to cart. PayPal doesn't work in another region uh, when your internet speed is less than, I don't know, a certain threshold. So it's all these like edge case uh, impacts that when you aggregate them up, like I'd mentioned, can cost you up to three to 5% of your total GMV, which is often pretty significant for brands. 